All right, everybody. How you doing? All right, I'm actually working the camera today because I don't know about you, but I get sick of seeing my big stupid face on camera, and I'm probably sure you do too. And so, on this episode, I just want to take the time to talk about work holding. And I also wanted to say one tool I forgot to mention last time. Sanding block. Um, if you, when you assemble things with nails, you want to putty the holes, and you need a sanding block to sand the putty off. And you can also choose to sand your project then as well. So, anyway, work holding. Um, you're going to need a platform to build off of and ways to hold your work so it doesn't move on you while you're working it. And there's a lot of different things you could use for that. You can do what I've done and build a bench. I've got a couple different benches that I made. There's one. I use that as a sharpening station now. Here's one I made for my kids. And here's the one I use. Um, you can buy a bench. Um, you can get something like this Workmate. Um, these little work workstations. They come in a wide variety of things. Uh, designs. Some are flat plastic surfaces. That with a lot of holes in and some clamps and holding um, holding tools. Um, they're usually... I don't, some are fairly cheap and some are really expensive. You can buy a pre-made bench. Or you can buy a bench kit. Where you just assemble it. Or you could do what I did. And my first one was... A sheet of plywood on top of two saw, two saw horses. Ah, get my tongue to work. Um, and if you wanted to get really deep into it, you could actually glue up a bunch of two by threes um, to make a bench top and then set that on two two by fours. There's pros and cons to each one. Um, I am assuming that. You don't have any experience with woodworking. So having to build a bench by scratch might be a bit much. Um, because this is everything else that you're going to build off of. And so you don't want to make all the beginning mistakes. Or do it sloppily. Um, so... Um, Building a bench from a bench kit. Uh, Home Depot has one. That's about $80. You still need to buy a vise for it. It doesn't come with a vise. So tack on about another... Uh, anywhere from $30 to... three to $500 <laughs> for a bench vise. Um... Uh, the workmates, they can go and, I don't even know what you call them. I know that's a workmate by Black & Decker. There's the Econo line, which I have in a, a deluxe version. And there's other sort of ones by Works and different brands. I don't know what you actually call them. I guess technically they are workbenches. But, to me, that's a workbench. That's... A tricked out sawhorse. Um, they can, like I said, they run also from I think twenty thirty dollars to uh, I think one hundred thirty dollars if I remember correctly. Um, buying a bench, a pre made bench, um, that's good, but then you run the risk. On the challenge of how do you actually get it home. 
and what, and if you have it delivered to your house, how do you set it up? Because some of these benches can weigh <clears throat> in excess of 300 pounds or more. Um, and pre-made benches, they come anywhere from $200 to, I think, like five, six thousand dollars Um, so... You can see why my first um, decision was a sheet of plywood on two sawhorses. Um, but it's not going to be the most stable one. Especially since we're going to be doing everything by hand. Um, you're, you might have some issues um, with stability that way. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of people starting out building their bench. Um, you can, there are t tutorials on that online, there's books on it. I would suggest a sheet of plywood, a sawhorse, a, or glued up two buys and a set of sawhorses, or... Uh, a pre pre made bench um, or something like you know a work made or something along those lines um, because like I said this is just to get you going and um, you know as I said I'm not a big fan of people building a bench right off the bat I feel you should build some smaller things first for nothing else, your bench is what you're going to be making other stuff off of, off of. And if you build it without proper experience, you could really do a bad job. And that could hinder your ability to work in the future. That and I... While I would like to build another workbench, I don't have the room for one. And there's other projects I want to make. Like a shave horse and a... Um, either a treadle lathe or a spring pole lathe that I really would need the, my limit, the limited space I have for more. Um, and no matter what you choose, most more likely it's going to be pricey. Um, e even a simple uh, bench with like that over there, which is two, two by fours and... Um, OSB board, even that's gonna be over a hundred dollars when you, you know, for materials and everything. So it, it's gonna be pricey no matter what you do. And for work holding, um, I'm just gonna assume you're not gonna buy, um, uh, especially if you start out with a plywood top. I am assuming you're not going to use um, bench dogs or use a bench stop right here. It's, um, pounds up. Here, let me get my bench dog. See, I actually made dog teeth for it too. And that was fairly easy. I just took a sheet of metal, cut it, filed teeth into it, and drilled a hole for a screw. And then I, I just screw it down in here for whenever I need it. When I don't need it, I take it off and tap it down in. It saves me from having to... Um, notch this out for the teeth um so obviously we're going to be going with i'm just going to stick to like clamps for work holding um i might use my vice this is a leg vice but most more likely you'll get um a bench vice like that which I plan on installing on this bench right here. 
And yeah, I haven't put my drywall tools away yet. Um, you know, I also would like to get a new top for this. Um, so refit that. But, um, so, um, and over here I have various clamps just hanging out. F clamps, um, parallel bar clamps, um, bar clamps. So, uh, bar clamps, bar, bar clamps, I like them. You, you should, they're relatively cheap because all you have to do is buy the jaws and then you just buy regular pipe that they fit onto and you can really get them in almost an infinite amount of sizes I got the this is three foot and I got four foot and five foot over there so and you can see at the end that there's well maybe you can't you can see at the end they're threaded so you can actually thread them together and make them as long as you want there's a roll stand for really long work I used to use that a lot when I had a five foot bench so um, you can get one of those or you, you might want to skip it um, I plan on having our first project be small so that won't be an issue so that's about it once you get your tools you're going to need a platform to work off of you can get one of these small little um, workbenches like the workmate you can buy a prefab bench you can buy a bench kit you can make a bench and then you'll need clamps and various types too. I have spring clamps right there and um, an easy clamp. So the more clamps you have, the better. Um, I also in my tool chest I have um, uh, wo uh, wooden screw clamps and some small F clamps. So, you can never have too many clamps. That's another thing I want to make. I want to make a clamp rack. So, that's, so between the shave horse, the lathe, and the clamp rack, I, I just will not have the time. I will just not have the space to make another workbench. Um, and also, I don't have the money to make another workbench. Um, so... Uh, you'll have to go elsewhere for that, um, if you want that knowledge. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what we're going to be working with. And that's the next thing. And so for the next video, I will actually have a project. Yes, I actually plan on making some again, um, since I haven't had haven't done a making video since the uh, toy box one three four five years ago so yes we will be um, doing the an actual build so alrighty see you later bye